more than 2,000 kilometers, nine breathtaking cities, and nine mouth-watering dishes later. The ultimate challenge is... What on earth are you doing in the dark, Adam? We got a video to shoot. But I was just doing the intro. Nice try, son. Now, scoot over. Let me do it. In today's episode, we will be talking about my favorite motography topic, video and still image editing. We will cover the two types of video editing apps available on your computers and smartphones that are perfect for your motorcycle journey. And that's how you do it. As you can see from our intros, Adam and I prefer to edit our own motography videos. We also like to do it on different platforms. And while there are many types of software and applications out there, I prefer to do it on our computer. So before Adam cuts me off, here are my two favorite video editing software on the computer. My personal favorite is the Adobe Premiere Pro. One major plus point for this software is its compatibility. Adobe Premiere Pro not only allows you to edit on Macs but also on Windows. This feature comes in handy when you have two or more editors working on your video. Adam helps me out with the motography edit sometimes and the transferability of the working files are seamless. Ain't that right, son? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Now, apart from that, the color correction on this software is on a whole different level. There are a wide variety of colors that allows for different modes and tones. Adobe is constantly bringing their game up and this gives me an edge in photography. Last one, Adam. My second favorite is Final Cut Pro. This Mac video editing software is amazing because of its performance. Apart from the seamless 4K video edit, it doesn't drain my laptop battery as fast as compared to other softwares. I also like the whole editable motion title feature. It gives me loads of creative freedom. All I have to do is just drag and drop the style I like from the endless library of motion titles. Done. Nicely done, Dad. As a person that edits on the go most of the time, I prefer lightweight and minimal equipment. Most of my masterpieces are created on this powerful device. My two favorite motography editing application is from GoPro. They have separate apps for the Apple and Android smartphones called Splice and Quick. These apps are powerful and can do all things on the computers. By all things, you mean a fraction, right? Well, it's almost everything to me. There are preset transition, filters, music input, and more. Everything is in the palm of your hand. It's just awkward to me that they call GoPros and not Go Amateurs because it's for pros. <laughs> Done! Wow, it was way faster than mine! Of course, it's supposed to be quick and spicy. That's how fast my motography skills are. Hmm, that's pretty impressive actually. It's a whole speed over quality thing. Yeah, to each their own. Alright, so that sums up our last episode of The Art of Motography. I hope you enjoyed the ride as much as we did. If you miss any of our episodes, just scroll back up to the page and you'll find all the tips and camera types of lighting there. Watch it, apply it, and you'll be a pro photographer in no time. Now that's done. Check out our last ride to the beautiful island of Langkawi Kedah where we crave for a good old hearty plate of nasi campur. <laughs>